Hello there guys and welcome to yet another video on SEPA channel. Today's video is going to be about the only realistically speaking settings that you need on Android. So let's go ahead and pull up Android Auto and then we are going to pull up Google Maps. Well, obviously it's pull up by itself. So uh, first things first, what you need to do is that you can also split the screen. So if you click here, you're going to split the screen and then you can see between different uh, addresses and also uh, you can go on uh, uh, YouTube Music if you want to do so. And when it comes to the map itself, we're just gonna have to click on search and then you choose whatever you wanna go. For. As an example, in this case, we're gonna go to Tesco, extra, it's gonna be one literally here. We're gonna choose the destination. Now, if you want to click here, I have a couple of filters and then you can choose if you want to avoid motorways, if you want to avoid toll roads. So obviously, you know, there might be sections of the road you are going to have, depending where you live, you are going to have an entire highway that's going to be um, uh, chargeable. Um, as an example, you also have the Dartford crossing, you have multiple bridges up and down the, the country that you, um, you are asked to charge if you are going to pay. So yeah, feel free to tap on this. And also you can choose if you want to prefer a fuel efficient, uh, a fuel efficient route. To be honest, as far as I've tasted, it doesn't really look like much of a difference, but hey, what do I know? So yeah, pretty much these are the, the, the most important three settings. And um, also you have an option with like 3D buildings, but to be honest with you, that's more accessible in like London and stuff, because here you have the 3D buildings, but it's not like an actual real, real representation. It's nice, I suppose, if you kind of like this, uh, this way of driving. Um, I do prefer the satellite view, and the reason I prefer satellite view is because I kind of have a grasp of, you know, where is a park, where is like, you know, something like a, par a car park and all that. But I guess this is just uh, dependable on the way you like to drive. Most people, as far as I've seen, they prefer going for like a standard view, not even a 3D. Uh, guidance audio, you can also select if you want to have it mute. I have it on mute. You can also select alerts only and, well, obviously, unmute. For alerts only, it's, all, it's only going to tell you, you know, if you're going above the speed limit and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, guys, this is, this is pretty much all you need. You don't need anything else apart from that. And, you know, obviously, if you want to know what Google Maps does, feel free to drop a comment below. Also, like the video, subscribe and all the good stuff. And we are going to see you in another video, which is going to be most probably go about either Waze or uh, Petal Maps or both of them. We'll see. Bye now.